Now I may not be buying the police modular building, but hear me out on why. It may be different than you think. What's up you guys, it's Ryan. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be breaking down why, as of right this moment, the police modular building isn't really worth 200 bucks to me. Now that may be totally different for you, so before you roast me in the comments with the dislikes, at least hear me out. You've got many reasons why someone may be buying a Lego. Obviously, if you're watching this, you have your own purpose or reason why you buy a Lego. I have mine. I either buy them for my kids to play with, or I'm buying them for me for my personal use, which I'll go into. So either you're buying it to play with or your kids to play with, you're either gonna collect it, you're either gonna collect it and then resell it, or you're gonna build out like a Lego city or a big scene or a mock, or you're gonna collect pieces to sell on BrickLink, or you're gonna be doing something like me, which is stop motion animation, creating brick films. Obviously I have them all on display here, just so it's a little more appealing for you guys to look at than just some blank wall. Um, this isn't for me to showcase, literally this, I'm in a room in my basement, so no one sees this room but me and you watching. But the reason why I put them here, it's easy access, I know where all my sets are. What do I really look for in a set? Especially if I'm gonna spend $200, I want the most bang for my buck. Barracuda Bay, I've mentioned in multiple videos. Great looking set, great minifigures, great for stop motion animation. Boom, that's why I got it, 200 bucks. Now I have a couple modular buildings down here and I also have to build the bookstore or the bookshop and like the apartment or whatever. I still have to build that one. If I was like a person who had a Lego City um, on display, of course I'm gonna buy it. Of course it's worth 200 bucks because I don't really care as much about the minifigures and I don't care as much about the interior of the set. Now, as someone who's a brick filmer, I do. I do care about the minifigures I get for a $200 set and I care about the interior of a modular building. Now, let, let's just be honest. If I just bought every set, which I don't, I would totally buy it. I love the look of it. I think the look of the outside is fantastic. I think they did a great job designing it. I love how they used all the different colors and it looks really good. It would look great in a Lego city and actually look really good in stop motion animation or brick films. It would look great. But let's go to the minifigures on it. They're just not that great, to be honest. There's nothing unique about them. I get the policemen, the three policemen, yeah, they're kind of throwing it back a bit with you know their uniforms and stuff, but all the faces are pretty normal. The the torsos and legs and everything are very normal. Again, I get it, the police are a little different, but I already have like 12 policemen, so do I really need to go into getting three more plus two minifigures where I already have the torsos and everything to that? And those minifigures, there's only five and they're not worth it, to be honest. Now, when it comes to the inside of the set, it's actually a bit of a letdown too. There's not a lot in it. For example, with Brick Films, I've got the diner where I can put the camera at an angle where you can see through the windows and everything. It's super useful. They've got the boxing rink on the middle floor. They've got a lot of great stuff. And when it comes to the Persian restaurant, um, at least I think that's how you say it, but that one, you can pull the whole roof up to see the interior apartment and the upstairs and all that stuff. So there's reasons why I got those modular buildings because I can use those in my brick films a little bit more than the interior of this one. There's just not a lot to it. You have the little, you have the toilet room, which is really tight. You've got the lobby area, which there's not much. The donut shop is extremely tight. You have the detective room. That's pretty basic. That's stuff I can mock up myself instead of having to try and get a camera in there. So it's just, it's not as unique as I would like it to be on the inside and the minifigures just aren't very special with this set, unfortunately. And I'm one that, if you watch most of my Worth It videos, I think I've pretty much said every set has been worth it thus far. So it's not like I walk around, oh, I don't like these sets. I love the look of it. It's just for 200 bucks, I'd rather go put that into something else. I get it, this may be totally worth it to you if you're watching, and let me know if it is. If it's worth it to you, let me know in the comments. But for me, it's not worth 200 bucks. Now if I had just a crazy amount of money where I could just flow out whatever I wanted and didn't care, I try and be somewhat responsible with my money and this one just doesn't tick all the boxes of buying the set for me. But yeah, that's really it, you guys. I just wanna share my thoughts on this set. I think the outside of it looks great. I think the minifigures are a letdown. I think the inside, the interior of it, unfortunately, is a letdown. Um, but the outside, again, aesthetically, it looks great. But just the other two boxes don't tick it for me and I'm not gonna get it, at least right now. But yeah, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.